Good evening, people watching Miss 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ uh, spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. It's important that you get that because we're we're no longer in the last days. We're in the last seconds. Um how do you come to that? You come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior, is only one. And that's Jesus Christ. You put your faith and trust in him, accept him as savior. And at that point you're saved. Period. There's no other way of, this doesn't get any easier. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you and seal you until the day of redemption. He will lead you, guide you. He's your best friend and he will change you, period. I got to give you this article. Everybody knows there's a food shortage. Everybody knows, <laughs> heck, Biden himself said it yesterday. The skyrocketing prices of fertilizer. I had to come on here and do this because this just came out of like not even five minutes ago. Has caused a worldwide nightmare that's going to impact everybody. I'm not the barrier of bad news. I'm the barrier of good news because when I give you this news, we the church are looking for the return of Christ to lift us out of here. That's what we're looking for, our blessed hope. And that's where our faith lies. I give you this news because the closer, the more the news gets, the more bad news there is, the more good news there is. This is by Michael Schneider. And I it's, it's a true article, regardless of how you feel about it. Please read this article very carefully because it contains very inf important information that is going to affect you and your family. In fact, it's going to affect every man, woman, and child on the face of the planet. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read some of it. For the past couple of years, he goes on to say, I've been specifically warning that a major global food crisis was coming. In fact, in recent months, I have been writing about this multiple times a week, and he has. Matter of fact, just about everything I've read by him basically is coming to pass. At first, he says, I think that a lot of people out there thought it was an exaggeration. But at this point, the reality that we're heading into a major global food crisis has become undeniable. Now, let me stop right there and I'm going to say something. Russia is not the cause of this. I, I'm going to tell you that right now. If you believe that, then you'll believe anything. Russia is not the cause of this. That fool that's in office right now is the cause of this. Period. But like I said, it has to take place in order for prophecy to be fulfilled. That's basically what's happening. Our hope is in Christ. But this right here is going to get far, far worse after the rapture happens. You can sit there and say, well, we're going to go through all the world. You're going through stuff right now, like I said earlier. You're going through a lot right now. I know a lot of you are going, like I said before, from paycheck to paycheck. I know a lot of you are going through things. So for people, it really irritates me when I hear people say, we're going to just hold on because we're going to go through a lot worse. We're going through now. We're going through now. God is not appointed the church to wrath. Keep that in mind. And I think that's what a lot of people, where a lot of people are coming from. Instead of coming out saying it, they're saying that you're going to go through the tribulation is what they're saying. That's not true. The church does not go through the tribulation. But this right here is going to get worse. For... Like I said, after the rapture, for those left behind. 
because without the mark of the beast after the rapture, and it might not come right away, it might come a year later, it might come two years later, but you're going to have to have something to eat with, and that's the mark of the beast. Otherwise, you won't be able to, and it's starting right now. We're seeing a precursor to what's coming. In fact, Joe Biden just said in a press conference in Brussels that worldwide food shortages are going to be real. And he said that the world will experience food shortages as a result of Russian invasion of Ukraine. And that's just a lie from the pit of hell. It's because of him. It's going to be real, he said. Listen to this. This is why I know the church is on its way out of here. It goes on to say, if you can believe things are already so serious in France that the government is actually considering implementing a food voucher system, Emmanuel Macaroni, and he'll have his share of it, Macaroni, but his people probably won't, said that his government is considering food vouchers to help middle and low income families afford to eat, calling the problem a worldwide food crisis. Folks, this is just the beginning of what's coming after the rapture. The rapture is going to happen at any time. You can call me a lunatic. I don't give a, I really don't care what you call me by believing in the rapture, I don't care. I know that the Lord lives and he is going to lift his people out of harm's way. He's going to not bring us through. He's going to lift us out. One of the biggest reasons why the outlook for the months ahead is so grim is due to the soaring cost of fertilizer. The American Farm Bureau Federation is telling us that in some cases, the price of fertilizer has risen 300%. Fertilizer is necessary for farmers, allowing them to achieve the high yields needed to meet demand and keep their operations afloat. According to the American Farm Bureau, uh, Bureau Federation, fertilizer costs in some areas have risen so high, adding significant pressure to farmers' pocketbooks. As global energy prices continue to go higher, so will the price of fertilizer and so will the food prices at the grocery store. I'm seeing it already myself. And so will gas prices. Everything is going to go up now. And it's because, see, hmm, let me explain something about sanctions. And this is what a lot of people don't realize. When you put sanctions on another nation, it don't so much affect that other nation as it much as it affects us. And that's what's happening right now. It's not affecting Russia. It, I mean, I think Russia's economy only went up. I mean, they're fine as far as they consider fine to be over there. Most Americans don't understand that when, hmm, I just said that, when we sanction other nations such as Russia, we are sanctioning ourselves. And that's what's happening. The more sanctions that go on Russia, the more it's going to hurt the U.S. We have unwisely become dependent on the rest of the world for so many things that it puts us in a very vulnerable position. For the uh, foreseeable future, the price of fertilizer is going to be incredibly high. And as a result, farmers all over the globe will be using less fertilizer. And this will result in reduced agriculture production, which is what this administration kind of wants, because they want people to go off of meat anyway, basically. And they want uh, gas to go out as well. They want everybody to use electric cars. Basically, all of this I got one thing to say get saved because that's your only 
Jesus Christ is your only way out of here. Am I saying it because of that? Of course I am. And most people would say, I know a lot of people would say, oh, you just want an easy escape. Well, that's exactly what he provides in his word. I'm going to link this article in the description box. Um, it's on his website. And I'm going to link it in the description box. It's time, and I say this every night, it's time to get saved. I wouldn't be up this late looking at this article like this because this is serious. And this is a prelude to what's coming. Am I worried about it? Not really. I'm not. But my thing is to get the gospel to people so they can get saved. Because knowing Christ and accepting him as Savior, it comes with benefits. Remember the old American Express uh, commercial? I'm dating myself, but... Remember that commercial that says, um, membership has its privileges. <laughs> Knowing Christ has its privileges. You are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. You will be rapture ready amongst a whole host of other things. You are protected. And that goes to say, well, somebody would say, well, aren't we going to be protected during the tribulation? No. God did not say he was going to put you through the great tribulation. In his word it says in 1 Thessalonians 4, uh, 14 through 18, that he will take you out of the great tribulation by rapturing you. And then you'll say, well, the word rapture is not in the Bible. Hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's called Arpazzo. It's called, uh, and someone will correct me, you know, always. Snatching away, catching up, however you want to call it. I would think I went over this the other, uh, the weekend. It's the rapture. So, and I believe that's going to happen anytime. Like I said, we're not in the last days. We're in the last minutes. The last seconds. I'm going to link this in the description box. Um, I will be back in the morning with uh, anything else. And I pray that, I, I really do pray that people get saved. That's why I give the simple, simple gospel. Because that's all it is to it. It's just a simple gospel. Thank you.